high rate KD2IBP. Uh, with any of the videos that you see uh, that I make, don't try it at home. Okay, if you don't know what you're doing electrically, uh, don't stick your hands in energized equipment like I do. Uh, don't mess around with stuff because you could kill yourself, hurt yourself, uh, burn down your house. All these things are going to upset your old lady. Um, many things could go wrong on a catastrophic level if uh, you don't know what you're doing. Okay, and I barely know what I'm doing. So don't do what I do. Also, if you don't like my videos, rather than just click the do not like button and run the other way, why don't you comment and uh, tell me what it is that's hurting your feelings or, or what it is that's uh, rubbing you the wrong way. Do you disagree with something? Uh, okay. I, I, listen, I don't know everything. I don't know a lot of things. Uh, maybe you could share your knowledge and, I don't know, uh, make me a better guy. Okay? Just, uh, I would rather you like and uh, subscribe and tell me what you're thinking uh, than hit the I don't like it and run the other way. Okay? Don't be a puss. Alright? I hope everybody's going to be well, remain well uh, within this 2020 year. I know it's a real challenging year. But uh, 73 until next time. Be well, everybody. Ray KT2IBP. Clear for now. Good evening, Ray KD2IBP. Uh, today we're going to be taking apart an RP7 valve uh, pedal board uh, made by Digitech. And uh, this thing is old, old, old. I got this back in the 80s when I uh, like to play guitar a little bit. And uh, it's been through the grind. It's, it's been through a number of different apartments, houses, blah, blah, blah. It's been in storage for a long time. And, uh, you know, it's showing its years. Some of these uh, foot switches have been inoperable, probably due to oxidation on the momentary switches on the P PC board. So we're going to clean that up a little bit. We're going to clean up uh, the stereo phone plugs in the back and uh, the variable resistors that control the output level and the presence uh, on this, uh, this pedal board. Um, I really think it's an oxidation issue, much like on that uh, 22 caliber amp that we had looked at earlier. Right, these are the uh, momentary switches on the PC boards. There's a bunch of them, and they're pretty important because not only do they control, you know, what sound you're looking for, but there's several menus. Uh, there's umpteen thousand freaking different configurations you could set this up with with the pedal board uh, going through various menus etc so if you have one or two of these switches that are not functioning correctly you, you knock out entire menus and it kind of makes the whole thing inoperable is it worth fixing this thing uh, to me it is because I am one of those guys who never say die but uh, you could buy sound processes today that uh, are relatively inexpensive and the sound quality is more than likely superior to, to what this puts out. But I like it, you know. It's, it's got a, uh, a valve uh, tube in here uh, to give it that vintage sound, that uh, vintage tube amp sound. So it's only going to take me a couple minutes to blow this stuff out with contact cleaner and uh, take it for a ride and see if it uh, actually corrects all the things that are ailing it. And if not, Worst case scenario, you just chuck it in the garbage. Or I could go nuts and buy new momentary switches. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go that route. We'll see what happens. So, uh, let me get to work. Alright, KD2IBP, 73 clear for now. Alright, so here's what we got. Uh, we definitely have some bad momentary switches. Uh, the video is really not showing what's happening here well. Because it's showing all kinds of blinking lights. Oh, right, there we go. Alright, so I have bad momentary switches over here. You can see as I depress them, nothing happens. But if I do short them out from the back of the board, um, they do work. You know, it came on. This one off. Switch isn't 
put it back on. So definitely that's it. I can't help myself. I'm going to have to uh, get some momentary switches and uh, take these ones out and I'm going to put new ones in. I'm going to resolder some new ones in. That's just uh, how I roll. Um, it bogs me down. I should be buying a new board or a new processor, but you know, if you can resuscitate the thing, bring it back to life, then do it. And uh, we'll see how it sounds after everything's working again. Um, and that's that. All right, so uh, we'll get back to you on this project here. Uh, KD2YBP clear for now, 73.